Hi everybody and welcome to another installment of Tim's Tech Corner. Today we're going to deal with a Android operating system application called Wi-Fi File Explorer. It's an app that you can get for Android devices, whether it be a phone or a tablet, and it will allow you to push and pull files to your Android devices by basically setting it up as a web server. For this video we have my transformer, generation 1, one of the 100 series on deck, sitting in my old Droid Eris Cicado dock, or Cicado dock, excuse me. Um, and over here we've got my HP touchpad sitting in a touchstone dock. So first, we're going to go ahead and pull up the application on the Android devices itself. When you first pull up the application, it'll come up to the screen where it will tell you some things that you can do about it, and it will give you a web address. Go ahead and take a look at it there. See, it mentions a internal network address, and it'll give you the port to use. 8000 is a standard web port, so you go ahead and hit done. There it is on the touchpad. Go ahead and hit done over here. So. The application is up and it is now basically treating this device and this device as a web server. Once you go ahead and you have the application running on your Android devices, you can go ahead into the browser of your choice and put in the URL that was mentioned. I'll see it up there. So this particular tab is the one for the transformer. And this particular tab over here is the one for my HP touchpad. As you can see, the learning curve on the web interface is stupidly easy. It looks exactly like Windows Explorer. You've got a tree on the left and directories on the right. If you are working with a device that has removable media, like the transformer pad over here that has internal memory and it has a micro SD slot and a regular SD slot, you can pick removable here on the tree. Once you click removable, it'll switch and give you the options of, well, you know, what removable device do you want to look at. You go over to micro SD, which I have in the transformer, and there you go. There's the directories of the removable media on the transformer. As you can see down here, I have some APK files, and it shows the proper icon for it, so it's a good way of knowing actually what you're installing, because sometimes you can get an APK file that's named crazy things, and you don't exactly have the biggest ID, uh, you know, you don't get the biggest reading on what the file is. And navigating it is simply like navigating Windows Explorer tree. If you want to go back, you can click up here and go back a level, or you could use the tree on the left, and now we're back at the home internal memory. Over here on the HP touchpad, you'll see some Android folders up top, and then the rest of the ones with the period. Uh, there's a lot of WebOS folders, and then you scroll down, and you have your standard Android operating system folders, and you'll see some files down here at the bottom. Now, one thing that is really, really handy about this particular interface is you have several file options up here. You can download from the device, you can delete, you can create copies, and you can even zip and unzip directly from the web interface. So you can upload a file to your device that's a zip. Say, you know, a zip file of MP3s, or sometimes when you get games and applications from websites, it'll come zipped up. And it'll have the APK in there and then something else, maybe like a picture, or a lucky patcher if you want to remove a license check. So you can simply upload the zip to your device and then unzip it from here. So we're going to go ahead and go back over to the root of my transformer. And over here are some more options. It mentions the free space on your internal and external media. It tells you the battery strength on the device. I'm running at about 78 right now on the transformer. I'm running at 95 on the touchpad. It tells me the Wi-Fi signal and I can create directories from here, which I've done. I don't know about the rest. Media playlist, slideshow, haven't worked with those. 
rescan the media, hide media, and of course, the biggest thing down here is selecting files to upload. Once you hit select files, you'll be given your standard Windows Explorer window over here, and you could go ahead and select multiple files to upload. You can even select files from different directories. You can pick, you know, 10 files in this directory, tell it to save, and then browse to a different directory and upload files from there. Once you have the files queued up to upload, basically uh, they'll sit there and they'll be queued up. And they'll be waiting for you. They won't upload the moment that you pick them. They'll be listed here in this section. All you need to do is pick upload files when you're happy and all the files that you get, you know, you basically queued up will upload. One thing you cannot do though is upload to different directories. The moment you change directories on this particular web interface over here, what'll happen is it'll stop. It'll erase the files that are listed over here and it'll stop any active processes. That's a warning that people should consider when using this. If you're in the middle of an upload and you browse to a different directory, it'll actually stop the upload and cut it off right then and there. So make sure you fully upload all the files that you want before you're done, then switch your directory, and you can go from there. So again, the name of the application is Wi-Fi File Explorer. You can get it on the market. There's some information over here. You can follow him on Twitter. You can interact with him on Facebook. He's got a website. And his name is Dublue. And it's a really handy application if you've got rooted Android devices and you like to push and pull files to them. Uh, you know, download APK files from the web or maybe you want to push MP3s to it or video on the go. Use this app and it's really handy and it certainly eliminates one leg of the rather common web to Android device chain is that you pull a file down from the web, get it onto the PC, and then you upload it to a cloud or create a sync over, you know, a USB cable. In terms of the cloud method, you are eliminating one of the slowest portions of that by not having to upload to the cloud, which is obviously slower than downloading. So uh, the cloud will obviously be a little bit better if you're going to bring a file to multiple devices, but this is really handy for just working with, uh, you know, a few. And you can probably have some uploads running over here, and if you had another device, like I've got the two of them hooked up, you could have some uploads running over here. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, little YouTube video on Wi-Fi File Explorer by DeBlue. The music that was running in the background is Project from Fracture. You'll see a link to that in the description. Uh, really cool DJ here on YouTube, does some good work, does some remixes of old Chrono Trigger music and Unreal Tournament. Uh, he's got a really good uh, sonic style to him and I like his stuff a lot. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.